your crawl space basement and foundation experts. With over 65 years of experience and the only money back guarantee in the business, you can be confident your house is in good hands. 58 foundations and waterproofing. Schedule your free inspection today. Just in time for Valentine's Day, a new book called Get Married has released. Brad Wilcox is very proud of his latest book. He'll be even happier to know his insights will help people keep the love in their marriages alive. Brad is the director of the National Marriage Project at the University of Virginia, and he joins us this morning. Congratulations on the book. Thanks. Great to be with you, Julie. So talk about some of the things you've packed into this book to help us keep our marriages strong. So I think one thing that's important to kind of understand is we're seeing that no group of Americans are less lonely, more financially secure or happier than married men and women across America today. Now, of course, marriage can be difficult and challenging, but what we're seeing in this in this book is that in general, on average, both young adults and middle-aged adults are much more likely to be flourishing. So that's sort of one piece of good news uh, in the book, Julie. So when you say what you're finding in the book, where did you go about collecting your, your research, I guess, that you've put into it? Yeah, so I interviewed more than 40 couples across the United States and then also looked at a large national survey called the General Social Survey. And we did a YouGov survey for this book as well. So you um, are a big believer in science, kind of just some easy tips to follow. One of them seems obvious, but sometimes it can be challenging, I guess. But that's to have five encouraging words for your spouse every day. Yeah, so we see basically in the research that kind of really stressing kind of positive comments, words of affection and gratitude, for instance, on a regular basis are linked to much better marital outcomes. And I think, you know, in the first few months of marriage, that can be pretty easy. But if you're five years into marriage, 10, 25, 30 years, kind of keeping those positive comments up, you know, can be a challenge, but it's certainly linked Julie, to better outcomes for couples across the U.S. You know, if you're talking about a young couple, they're going to have one view of this. If you're talking about the couple that's been married for those 25 years, they may have a different view. But you still say date nights are important. Yeah, so we see basically that couples who have regular date nights who are dating at least once a month, kind of outside the home, kind of leaving the kids with a sitter, you know, or, or a relative are about twice as likely to be very happy in their marriages. So regular date nights is certainly one ingredient for a good marriage today. Um, what about faith? Does that play in? Was that some research that you did? Yeah, so we see the couples who are attending church together are about 15 percentage points more like I said, they're very happy in the marriage. And they're about 30 to 50 percent less likely to end up in divorce court, kind of depending upon the data. Uh, the data set. So the bottom line here is if you have kind of like a religious prone in your body, it helps to kind of go to church together as a couple on a regular basis, in part because churches are more likely to foster what I call kind of like a family first approach to marriage. Is part of the findings, do you think, um, like the importance of the date night, for example, we seem to all be so busy these days. That certainly is true for husbands and wives as well. So just kind of having that phone away time is pretty important. Yeah, you know, Julie, I talked to a young woman who's in the South and she's a successful lawyer, but she was saying to me like one of the most important things for her was having that FaceTime with her husband with phones down. She actually used that phrase. So I'd certainly agree that kind of making time on a regular basis to kind of connect and, you know, putting your phones in a corner is certainly linked to better uh, marital outcomes. for. And, and if you are a family, if you have kids that are still in the home, does it strengthen them to see the parents have that time carved out together? It certainly it does. And we also see the kids who spend less time on their phones are a lot less anxious, Julie, and a lot less likely to be depressed. So I think trying to be intentional about having clear rules for technology in your household benefits both your marriage and your family more generally. Well, I'm guessing that you targeted the book to release on Valentine's Day for a reason. I'm sure it was not a coincidence. Where can we get the book? You can find Get Married at Amazon or your local Barnes & Noble bookstore. All right. Well, congratulations on it, Brad, and thanks so much. You've had a very busy schedule, so thanks for carving out some time to talk to us this morning. Appreciate it, Julie. Thanks so much. Every day you wake up and drive to the